Welcome to the 2022-23 Lone Star Conference Online Media Days, Rambell's Basketball Edition. We're here with Rambell's head coach, Alicia Ellis. Alicia, coming off your first season with the Rambells uh, by way of Wayland Baptist, 15 and 13 overall, 12 and four in conference. Can you just reflect a little bit on your first season here at Angelo State? Um, I think it was definitely a learning um, experience and it was, a, it was a good time though because we got to grow as coaches and as players. And that's the reason why we came here, is to make a positive difference. And um, I felt like uh, it's encouraging to you know, have the start that we did and then eventually turn, turn it around. And that goes a lot to the players. Uh, they could have easily given up on our season and us and everything else, but they kept fighting every day. They kept coming back to practice and um, getting better. And they were as hard-headed as I am and um, they proved to everyone that they can compete in this league and uh, end up at one of the top spots. And return all five starters from last season. Can you just talk about the impact of the returning players and some of the returners that you expect big things from this year? Sure, yeah, we've got a great group coming back. It was a good core group of kids and you know, it was nice because they were young last year, but they also, carry great leadership skills. And we had to have that in order to do what we did last year. And, you know, that was another reason why we were excited to come take this job was the, the players that were returning were some of the kids that we knew were gonna make a, a huge difference in the program. And they, they came through with flying colors. And I felt like, you know, we had a healthy mix with the players that we brought in and then the players that returned from the year before. And it ended up, you know, once we started be on the, on the same page. Uh, they connected well, the, the chemistry was there, which doesn't always happen when you're trying to mix new with two different, I mean, I felt like we had players coming in from three different directions. And so to, to have to make those guys bond like they did, doesn't always happen, especially with, with girls. It doesn't always happen that way, but they were mature enough to do what needed to be done on the floor. And that says a lot about them and their character. They. Um, they're coming back hungry. I don't think, you know, we finished with a, with a winning season, but I don't think they're satisfied with it. I think they now know that they can do better. And so they're hungry. They're, they're wanting, it, um, for a few of them, this is their last year. And so we need to end on, with a bang for those guys. And they deserve that. They, they work really hard. I wish you could see what they do in the preseason. Um, it's tough. and. If anyone believes in them, it's our coaching staff because we get to see every day how hard they work and how bad they want this. And you, know, we know 100% they want this. Um, there's no doubt in their mind if they want to be here or not. Yeah, so, so bringing a lot of the players back going into your second season, what have you seen this offseason improvement-wise by those players coming back? Yeah, so I, I feel like, you know, they, they are bringing back um, some of the experience that they've had and also the confidence. It's just pure confidence. Um, we were able to dip into some areas that they might not have known that they had last year. And once they started buying into that, what we were asking them to do, um, they started figuring out that they are capable of doing a lot more. So um, knowing what to expect from a new coach um, gives you an, an easier edge as it is. And I felt like yeah, I feel like this year, you know, they're able to communicate to the new ones and the younger ones what we're asking them to do. It does come across maybe sometimes crazy what we ask them to do, but um, it's nice to have multiple coaches out there saying, no, this is, it's going to work. Um, you just got to buy into the program because um, this is a tough league. I mean, it is, a, it's very competitive and um, it's different than high school. Um, all of our new recruits are from high school. And so we've got a, a, you know, the speed is is greater and the knowledge is greater. And so we've got, you know, a certain amount of time that we can get these kids where they need to be, but you can't do it just as a coaching staff. Uh, it means a whole lot more when, they're, when their teammates are helping them through those situations. And I know for me, that meant a lot to me when a player would approach me and say, hey, you need to, maybe if you tried this, that meant a lot to me. And that's where our chemistry's at, which is nice. It doesn't always happen that way. But um, for us to have those kind of leaders on the team to where they're caring about each other enough 
um, to help them both on and off the floor is, it spoils me. That's good. Uh, speaking of new incoming faces, who are a couple names that we need to look out for from that incoming freshman class? Um, I think Landry Morrow is a, a guard that came out of Ackerley. She is very tough. She's a tough kid. And um, if you, she's very decorated. Um, she's won a, a state championship in track and then won in basketball. And she uh, has played basketball for a very long time for a competitive league in the summer. And um, just has all the qualities that that we are looking for in a recruit. There is nothing you're gonna tell her she can't do. Um, she will find a way to get it done. Uh, I've always said, you know, if you had an army truck coming down the floor, she's there to take the charge. Like, she will take that charge. That's how, may not be the smartest thing, but she, she if, it, if it means we're gonna win from it, she will do that. And I just appreciate, she's got a winning mentality. Um, very, very strong, um, smooth player. She's gonna be quiet. She, she will be a quiet player out there, but at the end of the game, she'll probably have about you know, 15, 20 points. Nobody's gonna know, know that, about that. But um, loose balls, I expect her to be on those. And um, she's just a fireball. And so, um, also Naya, she, her real name is Kanaya Williams, and she is from Georgetown, and she's 6'4". We were looking for length coming out of last year. We just we knew we had to get bigger. And she obviously covers a whole lot of the floor. We've got to get her more intense. We've got to get her stronger. Um, but once she figures that part out, it it's going to be awesome. Um, she runs the floor like a deer. Like she's just she can run and she can finish. And so we, ready or not, we have to have her this year. And so we're pushing her along. I, I, and I, I love all of it. Ola is a is a good recruit, and Liv lives another banger in there. She's just gonna, she's mean, she's mean. She's a, another post player. She's about six one, and she's she's gonna be able to fight with a lot of the the bigger players out there for us. But I feel like you know overall, uh, we brought in a good um, group. They're averaging about. 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 very um, versatile. They can play multiple positions, and that's what I'm most excited about, about this freshman crew coming in. Um, I think they're all going to impact us in a great way, and and I can't wait for you to see that. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to see it either. Mm -hmm. One final question before we get talking with Sawyer, but what is the most important thing for you as a coach that you want to see this team do in order to be successful in the conference? Um, you know, I, I think the main thing is is we've just got to stay level-headed. And I don't want there to be any excuses as to why we aren't doing something. And, and I take 90% of the blame on that. And that's just how I've always been. But at the same time, we want our players to go in poised to every competition and to every practice. We want to win every day in practice. And I feel like that's where it starts. If we're not taking care of business today, then we shouldn't expect it to happen when game time comes. And adversity is, is going to happen. And, and we preach that every day. And how they respond to the adversity that takes place on the floor or off the floor determines a lot about our success. And so that's pretty much our motto this year is um, no excuses and we're going to find a way to get things done and it it's pretty black and white either it gets done or it doesn't um, and that's how that's how we've always done it and that's how we expect to do it this year so awesome well thank you for thank joining you. us coach ellis very excited for coach ellis and the rambells second season at thank the you. helm thank you very much for having us and we'll be right back with sawyer lloyd And welcome back to the 2022-23 Lone Star Conference Online Media Days, Angela State Rambells Basketball Edition. We are here with Sawyer Lloyd going into her fourth season with the Rambells. Sawyer, 2019 All-Freshman Team, 2020-21, second team All-Conference, and then last season, first team All-Conference. What can we expect from Sawyer Lloyd this season? I, I don't know. I'm, I have some high expectations for this team. Um, 
Coach Ellis put some high expectations on us. We're ready to uh, just come off from last year with big steps, leaps and bounds, and um, we're just super excited to just keep moving forward. And um, I think as a team, we can look forward to um, starting off better than we did last year and uh, playing more as a unit. Uh, we know what to expect, uh, or not to expect, but we know the expectations that the coaches have for us. And I think that we're going to start off better than last year. So I think that's a good step in the right direction. Probably in your time, this is the most people that you've returned on a team. What have you learned about your team this off season? This off season, I've definitely learned uh, with the returners coming back that we just need to stick together. Uh, we need to put in uh, a certain standard uh, just for the upcoming uh, generations for ASU Rambell basketball. Um, but yeah, just coming together, staying together, and leading by example, especially to the younger ones coming in and stuff like that. Yeah, you talked about that. How has that, that's got to be nice having all these people coming back and then just being able to welcome in the new people. How has that worked, bringing the new guys in? I feel like it's been above, I guess, what I thought it was going to be. Um, we each have kind of a, an accountability partner that we get to have. So each one of the upper class and classmen has a, their accountability partner for the younger classmen. I feel like we're really... Um, setting that standard, setting those goals, and these freshmen are really coming in and learning the ropes, learning the steps really fast, faster than we thought they were. So it's super exciting. That's awesome. And going into your fourth season now in Lone Star Conference play, just from down the street in Wall, yeah. um, what do you think about the Lone Star Conference and the challenges that it presents week in and week out? I think the Lone Star Conference is probably one of the toughest conferences in this league. I think it's um, going to be super difficult. Uh, to in and out just to stay level-headed each game uh, to worry about that game and not the next um, because each um, I think there's going to be multiple upsets I think there's going to be a lot of uh, different games that go different different games that goes different ways and it'll be interesting week in and week, week out to see uh, who comes out on top but I think if we stay level-headed I think if we stay uh, with, within our rules, within uh, the coaches' expectations, uh, with the level that we set, I think that we can be super competitive and I think we can possibly come out on top. And what can this Rambells team do this season in order to be competitive, to, be, to come out on top of the conference? Honestly, the sky's the limit. Uh, we came in last year, not that, I guess, we came in competitive, but we didn't fulfill what we wanted and so this year knowing what we can do from uh, finishing how we did last year I think coming in uh, just by sticking to our principles sticking to our rules really focusing on that defensive end I think uh, the sky's the limit and I think that we can go super far. Perfect. Thank you very much Perfect. for joining us Sawyer. This has been the Rambells Basketball Edition of 2022-23 Lone Star Conference Media Days. Thank you very much for watching.